The state government has labelled an upcoming school strike as a political stunt timed to coincide with the Senate election. Dozens of schools are likely to close when teachers, education assistants and support staff walk off the job in protest at education funding cuts. Thousands of teachers, education assistants and support staff turned out to protest against cuts to jobs and school resources last September. And unions are expecting an even bigger crowd at the next all-day strike on April 1. We think there will be tens and thousands of people on the streets. We think a lot more parents will be coming because... You know, 2014 has started, parents are seeing the effects of the cuts. Unions say the government's cut $180 million of funding out of the education budget this financial year and 600 full-time equivalent teacher positions. They want the money reinstated and a guarantee no further school funding will go in the upcoming state budget. The Education Minister says the latest strike is nothing more than a political stunt. This disruption is completely unnecessary. Um, it is five days out of a federal by-election in the Senate and I see it as just nothing more than, uh, than opportunism. But unions say the protest planning was already well underway before the election date was set. We have been looking at doing this action for quite a long period of time and we're not in control of when the, the Senate election has been called. It is merely a coincidence. The opposition supports the strike. I have no idea about the timing, but I do know this, that it is a massive issue in school communities across Western Australia when nearly $200 million a year is being ripped out of their budgets. About 60 schools were forced to close during the last strike and the minister's concerned there will be even more disruption at schools during this protest. Today he refused to rule out going to the Industrial Relations Commission to try and stop the latest strike action. Jessica Strutt.